to write the name for NiNO3 2, we first need to recognize this NO3. This is the nitrate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. We have two of them. So we have this polyatomic ion, nitrate, bonded to nickel, which is a transition metal. So we have a metal and these nonmetals in the polyatomic ion here. That makes this an ionic compound, and we're going to use these rules to write the name for NiNO3 2. So let's name the metal just as it appears on the periodic table. Ni, that's nickel. And then NO3, that's the nitrate ion. That's one you should recognize. So we write nickel, nitrate, lowercase n. And this is the name we have so far for nickel nitrate. But nickel, that's a transition metal. So we have to look at what it's bonded to to figure out its charge. Then we can write the charge within the name. The nitrate ion, the whole thing, has an ionic charge of 1 minus. And we have two of them. So 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. Nickel has to be 2 plus for the charges to balance out, give us a net charge of 0. Since nickel is 2 plus, we put a Roman numeral 2 and then parentheses. And that makes the name for NiNO3 2, nickel 2 nitrate. If you're going to write the formula, you need to see this 2 here and know that nickel will be 2 plus, And then know that the nitrate ion is 1 minus. So you'd need two of them to balance the charge. This is Dr. B with the name for NiNO32. Thanks for watching.